Welcome back. We're trying to understand what uh, Le Chatelier's principle means and also the effect of concentration on a dynamic equilibrium. So first of all, this is what uh, this was what uh, Le Chatelier stated. He said, uh, when you apply an external stress to a dynamic equilibrium, the equilibrium will shift in a direction to offset to reduce that stress. For example, if I'm increasing the stress on the left-hand side, the equilibrium will shift to the right to minimize or offset that stress. So let's take this example. So this is the Haber's process. So I have three molecules of nitrogen and nine molecules of hydrogen. So let's say I'm increasing the stress by adding more nitrogen. Let's say originally it was three now I'll make it uh, six, right? Okay, let's make that the same color, right? So we increase the concentration of nitrogen alone only, right? That is the stress here, increasing the concentration of nitrogen, right? So according to Lachetelier's principle, when we increase the concentration of nitrogen, it has to move in a direction, the equilibrium has to shift in a direction where there is less of N2, which is to the right. Now let's try to understand this from the perspective of collision theory. So when I increase the concentration of N2, that means naturally we're increasing increased number of collisions between the reactant molecules, right? These two reactant molecules. So increased number of molecule, uh, increased number of collisions means increased number of bonds broken, right? So when the number of bonds between the reactants broken increases, what happens to the bonds that are formed, the new bonds that are formed? So increase in the number of new bonds, right? So when you have more of N2, there is more collisions between nitrogen and hydrogen. So there is more of N2 and hydrogen bonds being broken. As a result, there is more new bonds formed between nitrogen and, and hydrogen to produce um, more of ammonia, right? That's what collision theory says. And that makes sense. So when we add more stress externally, by adding more of N2 externally, right, because of these increased number of collisions, increased formation of new bonds, there is more product formed. So in other words, the equilibrium will shift to the right, right? So if you're a, an owner of an ammonia factory or industry, you should be a happy person because you're making more product, eventually maybe even more profit. So you should be smiling your way back all the way to the bank. So that's uh, in a nutshell in terms of collision theory. Now let's try to understand the effect of concentration on the Kc value and see if it makes sense. What happens to the value of Kc when you increase the concentration of N2? So as we know, Kc is the equilibrium constant. It's a ratio of the equilibrium concentrations of the products raised to the power of the molar coefficient times the concentration of hydrogen that would be the molar coefficient of hydrogen is 3 so the premise is we are increasing the concentration of N2, right? Originally, this was at an equilibrium. So when you increase the concentration of N2, you're going to increase the denominator, the value of the denominator. So when you increase the value of denominator, that's going to change Kc value right so you increase this this will decrease but to prevent that from happening to prevent the change in the Kc value what is going to happen is we said there is more product being formed so the concentration of ammonia 
increases right so when this increases this is supposed to change the KC value should go down should decrease but that will not happen because there is an increase in ammonia so when there is an in this increase is offset is nullified is cancelled by an increase in the product fraction all right so those two offset each other cancel out each other nullify each other so that it does not change the KC value so due to the consequent increase in the amount of product so we are saying increase N2 so ammonia well, our product also increases so naturally those two nullify or cancel so KC value remains unchanged so that's why change in concentration has no effect on the KC value the same thing happens for example let's say I increase the concentration of hydrogen I keep the concentration of nitrogen constant so when this hydrogen value uh, concentration increases there will be more collisions again there will be more product produced so when H2 value in concentration increases then ammonia concentration also increases so those two, two increases nullify so the KC value remains unchanged or remains the same has no effect so let me give you an analogy from the real world right let's say you were swimming in a river not my favorite place to swim I would rather swim in an ocean let's say you are swimming in a river and the current is really nice you're enjoying the swim right and this diagram is definitely not to scale so the current is normal or weak let's say weak current and all of a sudden maybe there was an increase in the amount of salt water or there's an increase in the outflow of water suddenly the river current becomes very strong right so the current is very strong strong current so strong current but your goal is of course to stay afloat to keep swimming and to remain alive so when the strength of the current increased in the water your natural reaction is to exert more strength so you swim more strongly so that you can you spend more energy right so that you can remain afloat so you can stay alive so the increase in the strength of the water current is similar to the increase in the concentration of N2 right so when the water current strength increase what was your reaction to that you started exerting more energy you started to swim by exerting more force on the water so that your increased exertion of energy on the water to remain afloat right so that is equivalent to your exertion of more energy is equivalent to increase in the concentration of ammonia right now the KC value is similar to your condition of remaining afloat that hasn't changed in both cases you are still alive and still enjoying your swim maybe less this time but you're still remaining afloat right so the constancy of being staying on top of the water or between the water is similar to the KC value remaining the same no matter how strong the current is getting well of course not there will be a point where it will be very difficult to swim will not go into those details so that's an analogy to explain that um, the effect of concentration changes whether it's reactant or product has no effect on the KC value